Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, have you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to channel. I'm Bushkin. Today, we're going to be looking, uh, we're looking at the three finalists of the KV2 competition that I uh, put out on channel recently. The winner will receive three tanks, the Schmaltzburger, Panzer, Star, Chaser, whatever the hell it is, the Cromwell B, and the big Aussie Donger tank, the Sentinel-4, and uh, also, I think, about 1,500 gold and maybe a week or two of premium time. The second place will receive two of those tanks, and third place will receive... Un dos of those tanks and one unit of gold and premium time, uh, etc., etc., etc. Uh, this, the entries for these comps are on my Discord server. So you got to join the Discord server. The link is in the description below, and then you put your game and your replay in the competition area. There's a list there, uh, and I'll, I'll have more on that. But Fizzy runs the whole thing. Now this is Supernova. He is third place on the big numbers. Supernova in the KV2. And we're going to watch the games of these three dudes because they're pretty awesome freaking games and they are a testament to the converter now i don't want uprising games uprising games are no good for me uprising games are freaking crazy and they're the reason we're not allowed to have masteries anymore we can't have nice things because we do like fourteen thousand damage in tier 8 tanks in uprising no instead we just get a whole lot of kerfuffle as meezy does another 8k in a conway and can't get a mastery Ah, Dazza, cry me a river. If I could do 8K in a Conway, I wouldn't be whinging about anything. Onwards and upwards. Oh, it's all right, Maisie. I love you. You know I love you. You know I love you, baby. You know I love you, baby. Uh, what is the next competition going to be? I think the next tank comp is actually going to be a higher tier tank. And the reason uh, I want to talk about this is I want to do a review on the E50M, but I thought what I'd do is open up the gates to you, the human. So if you have a really good E50M game, send it into the channel. I'll have a look at it and uh, I'll do an E50M review, right? Um, and I'll use your game as part of the review process. So what do you think? What about that for an idea? So if you want to be on the channel and you want to feature, uh, play the E50M, get a good game in it, send it in to me, and we'll uh, talk about the tank. The other tank uh, that I want to have a look at in the near future as well is uh, the new Tier 8 Pan-European tank, that Pantera-looking Dimebag Daryl thing, um, which I can't for the life of me get a handle on. I'm playing it terribly at the moment. So help my brother out. Play those two tanks. Send me in the replays to bushkagaming at gmail.com, and we'll get you... Rocking and socking in front of the Blitz universe, looking like a pro in all the regalia of a Bushker on Blitz potato video. Now, this video by Supernova is a cracker. He is absolutely loving it because he is a tier six tank in a tier six game. And that means little old tanks like the scavenger here just have to suck it up and deal with a 150 millimeter gun that doesn't like saying no to anybody. Uh, and we all know that's not true at all. One of the best things about the KV-2, indeed, one of the most ridiculous things about it, is it looks redonkulous when it works. And it works 100% of the time, about 30% of the time. It is really one of those things where you'll fully aim in, the gun will be completely aimed, the reticle will say you're ready to fire, you'll press the button, and it'll go... Like a big banana coming out the end of a PVC pipe. And there's nothing you can do about that. Uh, the KV-2 giveth, the KV-2 taketh away. And in the case of me when I'm playing it, it seems to taketh away an awful lot. In the case of these three superhuman demigods of KV-2 love, it seems to give a whole big whack of damage uh, back. Now, you can see things are looking grim because the cap circle is running down. Ooh. I can't believe he actually hit that, number one. But number two, it didn't pen. Like, that is crackers. Hey, that, that actually hit, but did not pen. And you know the crazy thing here is this is for a competition. All these guys know that there is a KV-2 competition on. So he's actually looking for the tank with the most hit points to take out. Smart play there by my amigo Supernova. And he ends up with 4K, 4,033, which was good enough for third place. Now... I'll have a chat to Supernova if he can tell me which uh, which particular tank he would like, whether it be the Cromwell B, the Schmaltzberger, Star Chasers, Star Wars, whatever, X-Wing, TIE Fighter uh, thing, whether he wants that, the Sentinel, the Australian Donger tank, uh, 4,075, sorry, I think I ended up getting, yeah, there he goes. Uh, well done, Supernova. You are the real MVP, my amigo. Uh, 4,075 damage. Yes, yes. Nearly number one, nearly number two, but really number three. Thanks very much for taking part, Supernova. You're a wonderful human being. If you want to be like Supernova, just remember bushkagaming at gmail.com. We're looking for E50Ms and the Tier 8 Pan-European thing. I think it's the Pantera. 
I want to say to Pantera, it's a Sunday night and dear God, I left my iPad downstairs. And if I go down again and my wife says, are you making a video up there and on a Sunday? And I say, no, no, honey, I'm not making a video up there. And she says, good, you can stay down here and have a cup of tea and watch some TV. Then I'll never get this video made. So we're going to go with Pantera right about now, Funk Soul Brother. Okay. Uh, this is video number two as the KV2 comes rolling out of spawn looking hot, heavy and ready for love. He has the Wargaming Molten Inferno camo which everyone knows makes you a better player by at least 10%. Uh, so he's had the plus 10% to skill injection from the camouflage. He's already driving a KV2 so it's probably a plus 30% overall to skill camo and, uh, and tank choice combined. And then... He's pushing it like a heavy, like a boss, like a mic dropping lunatic. So he's probably about plus 45% to potential output right about now, Funk Soul Brother. Big shot to come, and he lets it go by. Just lets that one go through to the keeper. He's a smart cookie. He's lining it up. He's looking for a side shot. He gets one. Lovely high roll there. 620, all the damages. Thanks for coming. Interesting thing. This is also a tier... Uh, a tier 6 game, which is one of the reasons I was surprised by this is because in a tier 7 game theoretically, you'd get more hit points on offer, and that would give you a better opportunity to get higher damage but the converse is also true that even though there's less hit points on offer in a tier 5 game, tier 5 tier 6, there are in fact a lot less tanks that can smash you. Like, there's no Comets, no T-43s, no Draculas. You're not running around facing Hellsings or really, really, really... Oh, look at those buttocks. They are tempting. Keep it straight. Oh, please keep your buttocks straight. Don't make me switch to AP. Oh, I've got to switch to AP. Disappointing. 529, we move on to 1,423 damages. The team is playing well. He is hiding right at the back here in plain sight. Not really hiding. I mean, when you've got 1,400 damage and there's only two minutes gone and it's a tier six game, there's no hiding. You're just doing well. You're doing it right. Don't worry about that. Don't let any of the haters fool you. Oh, that's got HE scrap. Take a chance, young man. And he is rewarded with an 850 roll from the dealer. He was worried that he was going to turn up a king, but it came in with a nine. And he's sitting on 21, waiting for the next car to hit. Next player, please. Dealer sits on 16. The man is a winner. 2273, two, two, four tanks left directly in front of him. All the bad guys are there. Now, remember, all these guys know that there is a there is a replay on. Now, that is a very lucky shot. That missed the Cromwell B, sidestepped side the arse of the Crobby B, and landed square in the side of the MT25. I think it was lucky, but we'll also pay it as just pure skill. Remember, plus 45% with the tank choice, the camo, and then driving it hard like a heavy. Uh, does he take a speculator? Does he just roll forward? He's got plenty of hit points left. He can probably absorb a little tap, tap, tap -a Uh Everyone needs a little tap, tap, tap -a in their life. Don't do it. Don't do it, Cromwell. Don't do it. Oh, don't do it, everybody. Look at that. Right there, begging for love. Release the hell, Maximus. And he gets 530-odd, which is a good roll. 3,602. He needs to beat 4,075. Can he do it? He only needs to get one more. 4,076 will slot him into second place. We know he can do it because he's in second place. But um, anyway, probably spoiled a little bit of it. Uh, yeah, really... Note to self, work on narrative, develop better storylines. Okay, good, good. Three tanks in front of him, 3,600 damage, big numbers, 4,259. And he has gone skyrocketing past. He's saying negative because he wants all the kills. He was on a freaking RAS. Look at him, he's going tap, tap, tap. Seriously? 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 TNT, are you hacking? Are you hacking? Are you hacking? Hacking nothing, TNT Shark. 4,522. I'm too good, he says at the end. And he's not far wrong. TNT Shark. Dynamite. TNT. He's on a morning flight. Uh, well done, Bushka. Excellent editing right there as we see the intro to the game. Just waiting to start. And we're off and racing. This is, in fact, our number one... Our number one human, 4,523 damage, I believe was the number on the last one. Let's see how we go here. Going to be a close one. Very hard to beat. That is obviously a huge number for a tier six tank. I mean, when you look at this Sherman Firefly over there, he does not have a huge amount of hit points. Uh, 
and he's knocked off like four and a half Sherman Fireflies, which is a lot of Sherman Fireflies to eat. How many would could woodchuck chuck if woodchuck could chuck 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 you do not want to be involved with the KV2, my friend. Look at the smoke coming out the back of that engine deck. He is a veritable czar of Russian ingenuity. Do you see what I did there? Like an ironical uh, metaphoric reference, a czar, Russian ingenuity. It's a, like a Stalinist. Anyway, don't worry, mate. Like, listen, anytime you've got to explain a history joke, you're doing it wrong. 332! And the VK2801 starts thinking seriously about his life choices and backing out sideways again because he knows that was a HE shell. And anything doing that much damage with a HE shell can certainly do a lot more if allowed. Uh, here we go. Moving back, now I like this flank move. What he's doing here is what all great natural scavengers do. He's putting the weaker tanks between him and the bad guys, and then he's simply gonna farm damage off those tanks. Here he comes. Oh, automatic fire extinguisher saves the VK. Uh, he's taken a lot of module damage there though, and they are starting to come storming down on the SU-100. Why up there? The VK gets done from behind. 1,238, not a lot of hit points left out there. He needs a big roll. It's time for a big roll, baby. Yes, I will have all your hit points. I don't need any source. I don't have source on my hit point chips. I just want a serve of hit point chips. You'll do me, Dicker Max. Thanks very much for racing. Uh, moving forward now, and he's going to go low. Ooh, that hurt. That left a sting, and he hasn't reloaded yet. Not silly enough to stop and muck around with the kids at the back of the playground. He knows what he wants. He wants all you can eat buffet. Uh, he needs it. He needs it. He's going to get in the cap circle area here. He's using the hill, using it well. He might eat another shot from behind if he's unlucky, but he's across it into the cap circle, putting a whole lot of terra firma between him and the bad guys. Only two left with three left on the tank, and he's only got 2.193 Ks. He needs all the Ks. He needs a big shot. Needs another big shot. Have one. Have one. 324 goes for a low roll using the HE. He's a purist. The man is a purist. Uh, what's that up top? Am I going to need a bit of reverse side scrapey? He's going to reverse side scrape it now. He is very lucky here because one of the last tanks left is a TOG, which has more hit points than Jesus and absolutely none of the redeeming characteristics. So he's going to be able to put a lot of nasty points in there. That's like basically a big bag of a big bucket of hit points that tank right there could give him the competition all he's got to do is reach out and touch it ah uh, look at this yes thank you i do like your buttocks i do like them sam i am i do like your buttocks with green eggs and have good, 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 good. 3118 hit points how many hit points has a tog got he's got a lot of hit points baby an awful lot of hit points but can our amigo get a hold of any of them Nice work, team, says the SU-100Y. Our amigo sensing a victory. He knows this is a special run. This is the kind of thing that legends are made of. If just the Tog sits there and gives him a HE shot, no, he's going to go for an AP round. Make sure of it. Slots are 631 in. He's up to 3,800. Thankfully for him, his amigo is not taking any of those hit points. He needs every last hit point that the Tog can muster to walk away a winner here. And I like the way he's done it. He's kept that Tog upright just enough in the hit point pool to make that teammate of his think about having a crack. That's it. He needs a high roll. High rolling, baby! 639 and he's at 4,438 damages. It's all or nothing. Come on, baby. He needs all the hit points left. If he gets all these hit points, he's going to win it by one. Come on, baby. Come on. You can do it. One hit point away. One hit point away from justice. And the Tog, the Tog knows. He can, oh, watch out. Shoot. Yes. Yes. 4,523 versus 4,522. That's right. You heard it here. One hit points worth of difference between second and first place. Well played, boys. Well played, girls. Uh, thank you very much, Lionsman. Thank you very much, ball boys. Remember, videos on the E50M and the Pantera. Never seen it brighter. Uh, I'm Bushka. You're the humans. Watch on. Subscribe, like, etc., etc., etc. Bushka Gaming at gmail.com. Bye for now.